And Nick, thanks for being with us. Uh, the, the thing that struck us is that the video we're seeing um, of this uh, alleged execution is different from ones we've seen in the past. Can you talk to us about that? It's different in a number of ways. Uh, it's different because the uh, man who who apparently is doing the uh, or has done the execution or is talking about it uh, is in a different location. We've normally seen it in a desert location. We're not seeing that. Um, the previous victims, uh, Alan Henning, David Haynes, Stephen Totloff, James Foley, have all been beheaded this way, journalists and aid workers. Uh, th they've been seen on camera before. That's not shown this time. This is a much longer video. It's a, uh, it is the most barbaric of all the ISIS videos that I've seen so far. It shows the execution of, uh, of, of people, it says, are from the Syrian Air Force. It's a, it's a mass execution in the most barbaric way. The man who addresses the camera and tells, and tells us that this is, that this is uh, Peter Kessig that has, been, that has been beheaded. The man who does that is seen in another video clip actually beheading someone. This, is, this again, is the most barbaric of, the, of, the, of these videos that we've seen so far. And also, the video also is longer, and it talks about the history of ISIS, and it talks about its plans, and it, make, and it, and it draws attention to where ISIS says it's making gains around the Middle East. This, again, it can't be said enough. This is the most barbaric that they've done so far. Typically, when they've released these videos, they've been used to uh, forward some type of public relations aim. Could you give us some sense of what the public relations motive here with this new video might be? All of them seem to have uh, an aim for recruitment, uh, through education, through aggrandizing ISIS itself. This one paints the history of, of, of ISIS through its growth in Iraq, through, through spreading to Syria, and then very pointedly puts on a map, and this comes just a few days after various uh, radical Islamic factions in the Middle East have pledged allegiance or allegedly pledged allegiance to ISIS. They put them on a map, they highlight them individually. Libya, Saudi Arabia, Algeria, Egypt, Yemen. This, this seems to be, uh, again, another S message by ISIS to show and depict not only its barbaric cruelty, but also how it thinks and says that it's growing and that it is, that it is making gains. And this does seem to come um, at a time when the United States is, is deploying more troops to Iraq the video goes on to say that there will be more troops deployed and we are ready for them and we send them. And it really points out that, uh, that it uses the fact that Peter Kasich, before he became an aid worker and spent a long time helping um, innocent people in Syria, that before then he was a, a U.S. Army Ranger. And it, and it appears to point, point to that fact and says that we are ready for more troops coming to the region. So there, there, there are multiple messages here, which is typical of ISIS to, to do this. Uh, the chairman of the U.S. Joint uh, Chiefs of Staff has said that uh, the United States has been making some headway against ISIS, and there's been some speculation that this video might have been timed uh, just to be a sort of a counterpoint to that. Any feelings on that, Nick? Uh, it would certainly be uh, typical of ISIS to do that. Um, absolutely, they would want to get their message across. This is, this is a very, very slickly, slickly produced piece of propaganda. Um, the way that it is shot, it is, almost, it is almost to the point of being a Hollywood style. This is a very important piece of propaganda for them, it is clear. Um, I don't want to go into details about the barbarity, but but the way that it is, the way that it is shot, um, the way that it is staged, that it appears to have been filmed, um, it, not just by uh, one camera reeling off events, but multiple different shots edited together of the same of the same event. This is this is a prize piece 
of propaganda for them. So, yes, it does seem to, to try to strike at that, that message that the United States is making gains. It doesn't mention, um, uh, the, it doesn't mention their own battlefield losses, and it tries to aggrandize what they are doing. What is striking is this takes place in a different location than we've seen before, and we are not seeing um, the, the execution of the man that they say is Peter Cassidy that we're unable to identify so far. In the past, they have made a point of doing that, and it's been done out in the open. Um, it, that doesn't appear to be the case this time. But it does put beyond any doubt now in this particular video that the man who, knew, who speaks to the camera, who issues the threat to the West, um, we see him actually beheading someone else in this video. There is no doubt that this man not only, not only narrates and speaks for ISIS, but absolutely plays a central role in these murderous and barbaric acts, Joe. Mm.